Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack here on our 2021 Toyota CHR. So the Destination is what's known as a platform style bike rack. Platform style are definitely easier to load your bikes onto and take them off. You don't have to lift them near as high to get them over the arms. But platform bike racks are actually a little bit more cumbersome in most cases than the hanging style racks because they're usually a little bit bulkier and heavier. I will say the destination though is kind of the exception to that is this is a very light bike rack definitely something you can carry with one arm it's very easy to take on and off the vehicle so sort of within that platform bike category we have two other distinctions and that's going to be frame mount and wheel mount now wheel mount bike racks are going to be best for those nice carbon fiber bike frames we certainly want to wouldn't wouldn't want to put any clamps on there and tighten them down risk damaging the frame so in which case you would want to go with the wheel mount style However, the frame mount, these are going to be much more common, much more cost effective, and usually what most people are going to be using. This particular bike rack here, I really like the frame mount design of them. A lot of them just have a clamp that comes up to the top here and hooks onto the top tube. But with a lot of these bikes nowadays, they don't necessarily have that straight tube across there. Therefore, sometimes the hook couldn't, isn't going to grab on there as much and secure our bike. But due to this design here, we have this post that comes up in the center here. We can actually rotate this backwards or forwards, and then we can attach it on our bike wherever we see fit. It doesn't necessarily limit us to that top tube attachment. You can see here, I have it attached to this tube here. We have a nice adjustable strap here, so there's plenty of different frame widths and lengths here that we're gonna be able to accommodate. So we're actually gonna have three attachment points here with our bike on this particular rack. We have one on each wheel, and then we have one on the frame that we talked about earlier. But if we actually take a closer look at those straps there, you can see we have this nice protective rubber pad here that goes between the strap and our bike. And this is gonna ensure that we don't have any damage uh, with those nicer wheels. We certainly want to scratch that or possibly deform the metal depending on how tight we get this. So having that little rubber barrier there is gonna help keep your, your bike nice and protected there and make sure we don't get any scratches. So when we've arrived at our trails there, we're ready to get out and ride. It's very simple to remove your bike. One thing I do recommend is just taking a firm grasp here on the bike, wherever that is. I like to grab the top tube here and just sort of holding onto it this majority of the time. That way you don't have to worry about undoing a clamp, not having a hold of the bike and it falling and damaging your vehicle. That's not something we want. So just having one hand on it at all times is gonna ensure that doesn't happen. But all of these straps remove the same way. They're very simple. We just press in there to release it. And then in most cases, you can just sort of pull it out like this with one hand. We'll just simply push that back there like so. And now we have two more to undo. Very easy. Just like that. We'll fold that arm down. And now we'll lift our bike up and off the rack. Just like so, very easy. And now with our bike removed, if we needed something inside the hatch of the vehicle here, you can see it's very easy to get in there without actually removing the rack entirely. We have plenty of room to lift this up, get anything we need in or out, and we can close it back down without any interference with our bike rack. Now in regards to capacity, we're obviously only going to be able to carry two bikes. Now each of those bikes is going to be restricted to 35 pounds, so you want to make sure you keep that in mind. And we talked a little earlier about it, but this is a very light bike rack, easy to get on and off the vehicle. In fact, it only weighs about 20 pounds. So a couple measurements for you guys here. For starters, if you wanna know how long or how much length we're adding to our vehicle here with the bike rack, we can easily tell you this. We're just gonna measure from the back edge of the bumper to the outward most point on the rack. Which is probably gonna end of these arms here. It's measuring right at about 25 inches. So if you have a garage, you wanted to keep your bikes on there and still be able to pull in, you'd be able to measure to determine this. Now, next we're gonna be measuring with the rack stowed against the vehicle, which brings us up to our next point, is that the stowed design here. So a lot of times people don't actually like to remove their bike rack every day they get done riding. If they know they're gonna be riding again soon, they don't wanna to have to deal with the hassle of taking the rack on and off the vehicle. That's perfectly fine, you can do that but you obviously wouldn't want to drive around town with the rack in this position here. Therefore, the nice convenient store design here is a great feature built into this rack. We can show you how to use that now. All we're going to do on the swivel mechanism here, we're going to have a clip that we need to remove. 
and then this knob actually just threads out very easily. We don't need any tools for that. Then we can pull it out, and now we'll just pivot the rack towards the vehicle, and then we'll simply reinstall our hand knob there into the hole that lines up. Just gonna tighten it by hand, doesn't need to be super tight, and just simply reinstall our clip. As you can see here, this is gonna be the stowed design of this rack. It does still add a little bit of length to your vehicle, but not too much. If you're looking for an exact number here, I believe this outside point here would be the furthest out. So if we measure from the end of the bumper, you're looking at about 14 inches. So definitely manageable, more than likely for most garages. If you have one that you need to park in or any sort of parking space where space is limited. So if we look here at the shank and the insertion into the receiver tube, a couple things I'd like to point out. Now we don't have it installed now, but if you had another vehicle with a two inch hitch, you would still be able to use this rack. You just need to use the included adapter that comes with. Something else I'd like to point out is you can obviously see we have some keys hanging from the locking core on this side. This rack actually comes with built-in security there, allowing us to secure the rack to the vehicle. Therefore, we don't have to worry about someone coming up here and taking our rack when we're inside getting a bite to eat or whatever we may be doing. And then last but not least, this bike rack here utilizes an anti-rattle hitch pin, which is gonna help secure it to the vehicle further so we don't have all that rattling and bouncing around with our bikes and the rack. If we go ahead and just take the shank here and shake it, you can see moving it back and forth, we actually have no movement whatsoever inside that receiver tube. We're actually shaking our vehicle. So in summary, the Destination is an excellent cost-effective bike rack option. One of my favorite things of this rack here is just how light it is. It's actually rated for class one vehicle as well, such as our CHR here. That's the highest capacity hitch we can get. Therefore, we need to ensure that the carrier is class one compatible. However, this does limit us to two bikes, so we actually can't carry more than two. It doesn't do us any good to have a four bike rack. If you do need to carry more bikes, you need to throw them on the roof. But back to the bike rack here, as I said, it's a great option. It's very cost effective. It has some of those premium features of some of the other racks, such as the built-in locks. And overall, this is just a very universal bike rack that'll work well, and it'll be a great purchase for you guys. And that's gonna do it today for our look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Rack here on our 2021 Toyota CHR.